Okay, we've got a Noco Genius 10. 6 volt, 12 volt, 10 amp charger, trickle charger that we are going to unbox here. And it comes in a nice box. Nice and recyclable. Noco Genius 10, battery charger, maintainer. Looks to be exactly what I ordered without driving the cars very much these days. We need something to keep the batteries working. So we decided to get a Noco Genius 10 charger. Looked at a few, looked at the battery tender system. Interesting. That's nice box. Very cool. And this seemed like it had good reviews. Lots of people talked about the build quality, which already seems to be very nice. This does not unplug. It basically is just a connection directly into the thing. I think this is to connect it and strap it to something. And then you've got your charging cables that connect to here. Interesting. This connects to here. And then you get a connection. Then you've got some nice prongs. From what I understand, you can remove these if you want to do a direct mount scenario. But for me, because I don't want to take batteries off, I'm actually just going to use these right on. Plug it in and then call it a day. Instructions, user guide warranty, how to use, charging modes. Does it say anything about how you do anything? So force mode, press and hold for five seconds. I guess you've got your different six volt, press and hold for three seconds using 12 volt lithium. Lithium charge mode designed for 12 volt lithium batteries, including that. Press and hold for three seconds for your 12 volt repair. I think standby. And standby when the charger is not charging or providing any power to the battery. Energy save is activated during this mode, drawing microscopic power from the electrical outlet. CAN bus is enabled in stand bus, standby mode when standby, the orange standby LED will eliminate. No power. 12 volt for charging, 12 volt wet cell, gel cell enhanced, maintenance free, calcium batteries, 12 volt white LED, AGM, lithium, so that's how you change the different modes. So it seems like you just plug it in and it's going to go into a mode of either charging or not. Connecting to the battery. Do not connect the AC power plug until all other connections are made. Identify the correct polarity of the battery terminals on the battery. Do not make any connections to the carburetor fuel lines or thin sheet metal parts. So I don't know why you do that. Low instructions from negative ground system, most common. Your vehicle has a positive ground system, very uncommon. The follow instructions in reverse order. Begin charging, verify voltage chemistry of battery. Confirm that you have connected the battery clamps or eyelet terminals properly and the AC power plug is plugged into electrical outlets. First time use the charger will begin in standby mode, indicated by an orange LED. In standby, the charger is not providing any power. Press the mode button to toggle to the appropriate charge modes. Press and hold for three seconds to enter an advanced charge mode for the voltage and chemistry of your battery. The mode LED will illuminate the selected charge mode and the charge LEDs will illuminate depending on the health of the battery indicating the charging process has started. The charger can now be left connected to the battery at all times to provide maintenance charging. Auto memory, the charger has built in auto memory and will turn to the last charge mode when connected. 
To change modes after the first use, press the mode button. And charging times. Depending on the amp hour of batteries, one and a half to 17.3 hours. Interesting. LEDs, you can see the percentage of the charge. And all of the functions, which it all seems very simple. Mostly a matter of plugging in and really just press the mode button to toggle to the appropriate thing. So when we uh, show you, we're gonna plug it in, press mode to go to 12 volts, and then we'll see how much charge it has. And that's pretty much it. One comment was that it didn't have a bag, which is definitely something that is, would have been nice to have some kind of way to hold it, but I guess you could always just chuck it back in this box, which is likely what I will do. At any rate, that is the scenario. We'll show you more when we get into action. We're here with our Noco Genius 10 hooked up to our Subaru Forester battery. And we're basically showing what is a full charge. I've plugged it in and it's flashing green which from my understanding is standby mode very simple looks good from a quality perspective the only thing i see is that it's uh didn't come with a bag but it came with a nice box so i probably recommend just storing it in the box but we'll see first day use have to update in a bit so this is our Subaru hooked up to our Noco Genius 10 battery maintainer and charger about a few days after we initially put it on and essentially it doesn't do anything groundbreaking it just has a green light on the full charge indicating mark which indicates it's uh, maintaining charge we've just got it plugged in and I've got a cord draped over my side view mirror just in case I thought I should start the car and drive away with this thing connected, which is very unlikely because my hood on the car is open. But that is what it is. It's super easy. I would highly recommend this thing so far. Nothing seems to be happening to the battery that would be considered det detrimental, I would say. I've got no uh, battery acid deposits coming out of the top there this is the original battery from 2012 and it's been uh been a shockingly good battery for a 430 cold cranking amp battery always started the car and yeah noco genius 10 give it a thumbs up